Uh, strength doesn't matter to me, but the skills of the rowers, and that's very important. Everything has to be in perfect order for this boat to collide. One mistake by one oarsman would stop the boat. My name is Fuenga Saite Molina, and I'm the captain for the Hautasi Matasawa for the Manua District, representing Ofu Olsenga Ta'u Island. But this boat right here, this is the longest of all of Hautasi in American Samoa, 115 feet. As you can see, maybe this evening there's about 14 13 Faucassi will be in the water, getting prepared for, for flag day. The pride of the village and uh, every young man on this island is on this boat, especially from our islands in Manu. And we, we represent every single soul in Manoa. And it's a sport that we love to do. See, see how long the boat is? It's very difficult for me to stand in the back there, trying to tell the guy up in the front what to do. And the only one, the only way to do that is by listening to the whistle. I served in the U.S. Air Force for eight years. And I was fortunate enough to be selected by my district to do the training for the Fautasi and also be the leader of the, uh, the boat, training the crew not only on land but also on the water with the uh, Fautas. It's not an easy uh, thing to do. The flag day is in April, but usually we start training from December to 3 o'clock in the morning, starts raining. And then got off maybe six o'clock in the morning, then four p.m. on the water, and that's the uh, daily routine. I grew up in the water, in the ocean, and that's why I have a lot of respect for this. With the Fautasi, it's the same spirit. There's a lot to it. And taking fifty young men on a long boat, they take them out there for a ride. There's a reason why we do that. Not only showing that we belong to the ocean. You have the courage to lead your young man of your village. Uh, we don't just go up in the water just for fun. I'm glad I grew up when I was, uh, I'm 66 years old right now, and I still have that heart for the, uh, the culture and, uh, you know, the ocean, the land, forest. You know, everything go ahead in there. That's what we like to pass on to our, to our kids and uh, the younger generation. To maintain our identity, that's the most important thing to us.